Okay. Uh, so in all these questions, what we need to do is we have to find now the missing side. So I have to label from perspective of the given angle. So from the angle of 37 degrees, it looks like the X is the uh, hypotenuse and the 11 should be the adjacent side. So that should be adjacent hypotenuse should be cosine. The cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now, we don't press the second button because we're trying to find the side. We actually have to uh, cross multiply. X cos 37 is equal to 11. And then remember, you have to divide by the cosine of 37. So x would be then, I go to my calculator, and that's going to be 11 divided by the cos of 37, and to the nearest tenth, that should be about 13.8. Whereas in number 10, um, from the perspective of the angle 32, the x should be opposite, the 13 should be adjacent, so that should be the tangent. The tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So in this time, when you cross multiply, x times 1 is x, and we write that as 13 tan 32. So 13 uh, tan 32, and that should be about 8.1. Okay, in question 11, uh, from the perspective of the angle 50.1, the x is opposite, 5 is adjacent, so that should be then tan again. The tan of the angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, cross multiply, and in a case like this, uh, you have x equals 5 tan 50.1. So we type that in 5 tan 50.1, and that should be about 5.97 to the nearest tenth. Technically, that does become uh, 6.0. Okay, and then in question number 12, the 11 is the hypotenuse, and the x should be adjacent to the 60. So that should be a, a cosine. The cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Cross multiply, x is 11 cos 60. Okay, so I go 11 cos 11 cos 60, and that should be 5.5. So, what I'm going to have you guys do now is I want you guys to uh, work on the last four questions. I will post the full answer key, and uh, you can check your work later. And uh, hope all is well. Talk to you soon.